In this video, we'll create an HTML and CSS dropdown menu using Bootstrap 4. So when we select the Services tab here, you'll see that we get two different dropdown links beneath it. And similarly, we have two dropdown links underneath the Services tab here on the mobile version, which pushes the next list item or link down a little bit. So we'll find that when we flex the navigation menu down, at 768 pixels, it's going to change to the mobile version. And later in the tutorial, I'll show you how you can change the width from when it goes from the full width version to the mobile version. So in the description of this video will be the starter file if you want to follow along, as well as the finished version of the drop down menu. I'll be using the free program Sublime Text as my text editor throughout the tutorial, and I'm also going to have it open in Google Chrome as we develop the navigation in Sublime Text. So let me go ahead and put the starter file away, and let's take a look at Sublime Text to see what's already included for us. So from the top, we have doctype HTML, and then inside of our head section, we have our title and then our bootstrap CSS file with bootstrap 4, the latest version of jQuery. Then we have popper JS, which is recommended for bootstrap, followed by the bootstrap 4 uh, JS file here. Okay, so let's go down to the body section and I'm just going to make sure that I'm connected to Google Chrome here for the version that we'll be working on, which I am as you can see. And let's go ahead and start our navigation HTML off with the actual navigation bar itself with the dark blue background that we're seeing. So we'll use the HTML5 tag called nav to start us off and we're going to give it a class. So we'll say nav class navbar space navbar dash expand md for medium and then we'll do the default dark bootstrap navigation which is navbar dark and BG dark. So as we move on, we'll find out what the MD means there with medium. But for now, we have our navigation bar. And I'll show you how you can change it to small screens. So let's move on to our navigation brand or logo. So we'll say A class navbar dash brand and then href. And I'm just going to leave the link blank here with a hashtag and then we'll write bootstrap as you can see in the upper left or you can put the image in the image source for your logo so there we have our bootstrap text as our logo and let's move on to our drop down button next that we see right here so underneath our a tag we'll use the button tag and we're going to give it a class called navbar dash toggler because it's our toggle button and then we'll say type button and data dash toggle equals collapse and then we'll add a data target here for our ID that will give our unordered list so we'll just call it navbar supported content with a capital S and a capital C and make sure you have the hashtag for the ID at the beginning of it. Okay, so now if we take a look at it, we have the start to our collapsing uh, navigation dropdown button, but we don't have the icon inside of it. So we'll add a span class here, and we'll call it navbar-toggler-icon and that will add our hamburger icon that we see here. Okay, so if we expand, we don't have any unordered list yet, so let's go ahead and add our um, unordered list next. So we'll want to wrap that with a um, collapse class here. So we'll say div class collapse navbar dash collapse, and then we'll add the ID that our toggle button is um, targeting. So ID navbar supported content with the capital S and capital C. And then we can close out our div and start our UL unordered list. And we're going to give it a class called navbar dash nav and then ml auto 
which we'll learn about in just a moment once we add our list items. So then we can close out our unordered list and let's start our first list item for the home link here. So we'll say li class nav dash item and for our first one with bootstrap we always want to make it active and then we can create some space in between our list item and add our link so we'll say a class nav dash link and again I'm gonna leave the um, the link blank with a hashtag you can do index.html for example if you want to link to your home page so if we expand there we have our first navigation link so with ML auto if we change it to MD auto it's gonna go all the way off to the left or we could use MX auto to center our own ordered list and as you saw ML auto will push it off to the right then we have the expand option here so SM will make the navigation turn into its mobile nav at 576 pixels or you can use MD which will expand it to the full width version at 768 pixels so let's move down to our our links uh, that follow the home link here so I'm just gonna copy this list item and paste it beneath and we'll take out the active class here and let's change it to about and then I'll copy this one without the active class and paste it and change it to location and next for our services list item here we'll want to add a drop-down class to our list item so we'll say li class nav dash item and then drop down and then we can close out our list item and inside of it we'll create a button so we'll say a class nav link drop down dash toggle and then we can add our link here so href I'm gonna leave it blank and then we'll give it an ID called navbar drop down with a capital D in drop and then roll we'll leave it to give it a role that we'll just call button and then data toggle drop down okay so then we can add our services text and close out our link and underneath that we'll need to add our class for the um, the drop-down menu so div class drop-down menu dash or drop-down dash menu rather and then area dash labeled by and we'll reference the ID that we created above so navbar drop-down with a capital D and then we can add our first drop-down menu item inside of the div which is photography so we'll say a class drop down dash item and then href and then in between our a tags we'll just write photography and close out the tag okay so now if we refresh there we have our first drop-down link and here we have it for the full width version it's pushing off to the side a little bit though so with the original version you'll notice there's a line in between our links here so we'll want to add a div class for that line so we'll say div class drop-down dash divider and then we can close out the div and add our second link where it says view our portfolio okay so a class drop down dash item and then href and then 
view our portfolio is the name of the link and then close out the link and now we have our second drop down item added which is right here okay so then lastly we just have the contact us link so let's go ahead and add that I'll just copy the location list item here and paste it in and change it to contact us okay so now if we go and refresh we have all of our list items including the two drop down items okay so that does it I wanna thank you for sticking around with me through this tutorial please remember to like this video subscribe and turn on your notifications then I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching